first of all, you've seen the, the childlike map that Foreign Minister Zarif put out, uh, the contrast with the excellence and professionalism of America's military and our intelligence services should leave no doubt in anyone's mind about where that unarmed vehicle was. It was flying in international airspace, and we shouldn't let uh, the Iranians have one moment where any reporter would write that there is even a credible, uh, a credible response to the data set that the Americans have put forward. Uh, second, the Iranians are out telling the story about a message that traveled through Omani channels. That's just false. It's pure and blatant disinformation. Uh, they passed another message that said that uh, the United States was removing forces from Balad Air Force Base. You can go see them. They're there. Uh, I, I mention all of these things because it's very important as the days proceed and as our efforts, our diplomatic efforts to change the nature of what the Iranian regime is doing go on, it is very likely that Iran will continue to present things that are fanciful, that are fraudulent, that are false. And we need to make sure that um, every news outlet, everyone who's observing this understands what's true and what the Iranian regime wants you to believe. Uh, that's, that's truly important. Uh, I'm heading out today. Our first stop will be in uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, uh, two great allies in the challenge that Iran presents. And we'll be talking with them about how to make sure that we are all uh, strategically aligned and how we can build out a global coalition. A coalition not only throughout the Gulf states, uh, but in Asia and in Europe that understands this challenge as it is prepared uh, to push back against the world's largest state sponsor of terror. You'll see, too, uh, that our campaign that it began uh, as when President Trump took office will continue. On Monday, there'll be a significant set of new sanctions, and the world should know that we will continue to make sure it's understood that this effort that we've engaged in to deny Iran the resources to foment terror, to build out their nuclear weapon system, to build out their missile program, uh, we are going to deny them the resources they need to do that, thereby keeping American interests and American people safe all around the world. Two other thoughts as I head out. One, uh, nearly the same time that I'm commencing my trip, uh, there are many people uh, headed for Bahrain, uh, where uh, the administration will roll out the economic component of its Middle East peace plan. It was released yesterday. I hope everyone will take a good look at it. It presents a brighter future for Palestinian people anywhere they are in the world. And then last night, there was reporting about a letter that was sent from President Trump to Chairman Kim. I can confirm that that letter was, in fact, sent. And I'm hopeful that this will provide a good foundation for us to begin uh, to continue the important discussions with the North Koreans to denuclearize the peninsula.